Right now at 530, a major crash on I-45 today, which is still partially shut down right now due to a tractor trailer hauling a mobile home. Six vehicles in total were involved in this crash. Some of the cars just drove straight through the home. Four people were injured altogether. Thankfully, though, all of them minor injuries. But as you just saw, it was quite the scene. Yeah, it really was. Queen City News anchor Derek Dellinger has a look at the damage. The home involved in this crash was a single wide manufactured home, but it was being hauled on 485. Something happened. It crossed from the outer to the inner lanes, creating a big mess. Thursday morning turned into Thursday afternoon, and for the unfortunate several on 485, this was the reason for it. A crash that people simply could not look away from, and a crash that bluntly nobody wished on anyone else. Very surprised to see a house sitting in the middle of 485. Bobby Thompson lives out near an overpass on 485 that gave some a bird's eye view on what happened. This is the back end of the crash, though. Skid marks show the oversized load was apparently on 485 outer across the wire barrier onto the inner lanes. Another 18-wheeler was apparently involved, and if you look at the other side of the crash, one of at least two cars crashed into the home before it was all over and before all lanes were blocked. I was like, wow, I really want to like go and get a better look, so we came up to this to this bridge, and it's it's crazy. It'll be quite a... Quite a wreck to clean up, yeah. for sure. <laughs> the crash here between Interstate 85 and Exit 12, the Morse Chapel Road exit, is an area with a bit of a troubled history. We had uh, we had a really, really bad crash uh, right up there at Exit 12. Uh, several years back, a girl got killed. Thursday's crash, though, while significant, is nowhere near as tragic. Thompson himself is a real estate agent and noted that whoever was getting that home may, unfortunately, be out of luck for a bit. They're all packed, and, and if that housing market is anything like my housing market, uh, there's very, very, very few houses on the market, and they may have to wait a long time to get a replacement. Again, four people were injured in this crash. All of those injuries are minor. In West Charlotte, Derek Dunlinger, Queen City News.